Abdominal aortic aneurysm is a weakening or a, a, a bulge in the uh, largest artery of the body, the, uh, the aorta. And uh, it is located in the abdomen, right above your belly button. And um, uh, the risk is rupture. Uh, with every heartbeat, there is increased pressure on the area of the aorta that, that has a weak wall and it bulges out and ultimately when it reaches a certain size it is going to a rupture and the rupture is a lethal complication. The, the key here is to get to an emergency room or react immediately to any new onset abdominal or back pain or a uh, fainting spell and either dial 911 or you should be uh, taken to an emergency room uh, very rapidly because there is always a few hours where we can act and our chances are better to save, it, save you. Abdominal aortic aneurysms uh, are diagnosed by physical exam, by ultrasound evaluation, or by other imaging studies, computed tomography, CT scan, or MR scan. We certainly uh, follow the recommendations of the uh, um, Welcome to Medicare uh, Act that reimburses uh, uh, males who are smokers or who have ever smoked and males and females who have a family history of abdominal aortic aneurysm. So we would screen even asymptomatic uh, uh, patients, uh, males who smoke or who have ever smoked at age 65. Usually, if patients have a family history, we start screening at age 55. It depends on the risk of the rupture. There are certain criteria when we operate, and we follow those uh, uh, quite rigorously. And one is the size of the aneurysm. If an aneurysm reaches 5.5 centimeter in size, uh, then we would recommend a uh, repair, and there are different techniques of repair. But there are other reasons to uh, offer repair to. We would operate uh, aneurysms that grow rapidly. If, if we find that an aneurysm increases more than 0.7 centimeter in six months or one centimeter in a year, then we would recommend repair. We would recommend repair in all patients who have symptomatic aneurysms because occasionally the aneurysm can cause pain or it can build up blood clots and throw blood clots down to the uh, circulation and cause uh, um, blockages in, of the arteries of the legs. There has been tremendous progress in uh, repairing abdominal aortic aneurysm in the last two decades. The mortality from repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm is very important because when you recommend an operation uh, you uh, really uh, balance the risk and the benefit. You know the risk of rupture and the benefit of an operation and if your operation carries a high mortality there is really no benefit from repairing it. Endovascular uh, aneurysm repair with stents uh, without an incision made in the abdomen is done now in over 70% um, of the patients with an abdominal aortic aneurysm. As a result of that, in the last decade, the mortality of aortic aneurysm repair in this country has decreased from 4.8% to, uh, uh, from 4.6% to 2.8% which is a 36% decrease of overall mortality. And that is a major advancement. This is, larger, this is a larger decrease in mortality that, than any of the uh, major uh, surgical interventions uh, that are performed today, including uh, heart surgery, transplantation, or orthopedic procedures.